What's up guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Game on Garage. For today we're doing the ultimate bracket fabrication episode. So let me show you a few things that you're going to need. The most important part when manufacturing anything is of course your safety gear. So make sure you've got those. Some cardboard and a pen to make a template, a hammer to bend your metal possibly and a punch if you will be drilling holes, a drill for drilling those holes, an angle grinder for cutting the metal and possibly cleaning it, the metal itself and a vice grips or a bench vise to keep the metal steady while you're cutting it or you're working on it. And then in my case I will be welding this um, as well. So the bracket we're making today is for the oil catch can in our race car MX-5. If you missed that video it will be right over here. Step 1. Take your cardboard and a pen and scissors and make a template of the bracket that you will require. As can be seen here, we are going to use this bolt to connect to the bracket that came with our oil catch can. So using cardboard, let's make a template for that. Start off by cutting your cardboard down to a more reasonable size. Then shape it to the shape of the metal that you've got available. Add any bends where required. Use a pen to make any more marks where you need to cut or adjust, bend, until your template is perfect. The more time you spend getting this correct, the better your bracket will be in the end. With your template ready, it's time to trace this onto the metal. Most brackets will be made out of some, you know, off cuts or scrap metal that you have lying around. So I've got this piece that fits fairly well. So the idea I'm going for with this bracket is to cut open on the side here and here to cut this bottom piece off and then the drops down on both sides will give my piece some more strength. As you can see from the top crease over here it will be bent down and then the two legs will enable me to weld where I've bent it down to make it even stronger. Let me show you what I mean. Again remember ears and eyes you only got one set of those And then we can start cutting. That's the one side down, onto the other side. And there we go, bottom side cut off. Next step is going to be the bend. Now to bend this with this legs we'll need to cut some indents. So let's measure those and get them done. To make it match up better and weld easier, we're going to cut out triangles 45 degrees on each side. And there we go. You can still play around with the angle, but that should do it. Now after some trial and error test fitting our bracket in the car, I've decided to well, the original bracket that came with the oil catch can to the one we just made. Um, it's going to be a bit fiddly to get the bolt, nuts and bolts in there, so this might be easier. With these two joined together, the next thing to do will be to punch the correct hole in the bracket we just made to ensure that the top of our suspension strut, that bolt, uh, can go through there. Unfortunately, I don't have the correct drill bit size, so we'll have to drill the hole big enough another time but we'll get a good enough, good enough idea for now. Let's get welding. Now while this is by no means a welding tutorial video, since most custom fabrication brackets will involve some kind of welding, I, I decided to just include the basics. 
Make sure your welder is set on the correct settings as well as your gas flow rate. Next, make sure you're using the correct cup and tungsten bit. I'm using a seven cup in, in this case. With the machine set up, I always use some acetone just to clean off the metal bit. I also use the angle grinder to clean off the paint from the bracket that came with the oil catch can. Then with your ground set up and the brackets in the correct position, it's time to get welding. So what I'm doing here is I'm welding through the hole that originally came in the bracket and then melting that towards the bracket that we've made. Just be careful, it's gonna be extremely hot, but let's see if you can get an idea of what happened over here. So there you might get some idea of the, the technique I used. It's sort of like a spot weld or a filler weld. Next up, we can mount this to the oil catch can now and see where the hole's going to be for our stud from the suspension. And here we have the oil catch can mounted back into the car using our brand new fabricated bracket. I just forgot to weld our one side over there, so we'll also do that once we pull it out again to drill the hole for the, for the mounting stud. We also painted black so it match in looking factory and prevent it from rusting. But for now, that's the job done. And there you have it guys, the ultimate guide to making brackets. I hope this helped any of you guys out. If it did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you can stay tuned for future race car project episodes. In the meantime, remember that it's not game over, it's game on.